Hey everybody, hope you're having a great afternoon. Today I'm going to be doing a mini Whole Foods haul for clean beauty products. I don't go to Whole Foods super often. It's not in my like immediate radius, but if I'm out that way, I will definitely stop by and pick up some of my favorite products and usually venture out and get like one or two new things. So I wanted to show you what I picked up in my last trip to Whole Foods. The first product I actually picked up a couple weeks ago and I've really been loving it. It is the Well People Bronzer in um, natural tan is the color. I don't have any makeup on today with the exception of a lip gloss. But I did wash my hair today, so that's a plus. I don't wear makeup on a regular basis. It makes me feel really oily and greasy, but kind of trying to make this five minute look with either three to four products at most. So I picked this up because I didn't have a bronzer and I feel like this is a really versatile product. You can use it not only on your cheeks, but you can also do some contouring or whatever they call it around your face and possibly even use it as an eyeshadow if you're in a pinch. It's super light and buildable, but it's something where I feel like it gives you a really natural glow. I struggle with being olive complected and bronzers either looking really dark or cakey on me or like looking orange, which I don't like. So this probably isn't going to show up very well because it is so light and I'm super ashy. Wow, sorry about that. Just enough to where it gives you that little bit of glow and you can build on it if you want. So I think this was like $20, but totally worth it. I'm really loving it so far. And Well People, I know, is a more conscious and clean beauty brand, so I do feel comfortable using this on my skin. I also picked up with the bronzer, and it is this Well People um, Tinted Bio Tint tint multi-action moisturizer I really like this product although um, it's a little heavy it's got that texture of sunscreen which it does have SPF 30 broad spectrum in it but you have to shake it really well otherwise it separates which you'll have that with a lot of clean beauty products I really just got this to have something where if I do have a little bit of discoloration or blemishes I don't know that it's my favorite but I didn't dislike it enough to return it I think the color that I got is called sand. It's really thick, um, super thick actually. Sorry, I suck at like showing beauty products. Distributes like a sunscreen and it takes a little bit of like working. It's totally buildable if that's your thing. It's not really mine, so like one layer and I'm done. It feels like a sunscreen though on your face. So I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this one. A few Skin Foodie products, which I think I've talked about her products before. She is a local Daytonian and makes really amazing organic body care products. And these are my staples in my bathroom. The first one is the Skin Foodie Coffee Scrub. It is a, oh my gosh, decadent body scrub that you can use in the shower. All organic, fair trade, cruelty-free, plant-based, deliciousness this is a really great way to kind of get that little luxury into your everyday so this is made with shea butter coconut oil coffee a uh, plant derived glycerin vanilla and then hazelnut oil as well and it's made here locally in Dayton she's got some really great stuff this is just the one that I always go back to because I know I love it I'm real weird about scents not matching for some reason like they have to be within the same category or the same like fragrant type like either earthy or floral or crisp it, I can't do like an earthy and a crisp or a floral and an earthy like don't have to be the same fragrance but I really like them in the same category so every time I get the body scrub I always pick up the matching body butter and this is delicious it is so thick and creamy it feels like it's just soaking into your skin so this has shea butter coconut oil aloe vera grapeseed oil sunflower oil vitamin e coffee oil vanilla bean and hazelnut oil it is just such a treat it has an online boutique on etsy where you can shop all her seasonal products she also has like other um staple products that are available all year long so you can find that or she's in several different whole foods in the midwest so you can call your local whole foods and see if you have them there but i love this stuff and i repurchase it all the time okay so probably a little tmi but i have not been wearing deodorant for almost a year now i um, got pretty sick last year with the shingles and it just created this like ripple effect of symptoms in my body and one of the symptoms that I got was some really nasty rashes underneath my armpits. Try to figure out what was causing it, whether it was food induced, product induced, just an allergen of some sort, but I think it was my body's like constant state of stress that was just making my body like reject everything and ugh, it was just awful. And I've been using natural organic deodorants for 
years now, but really just to kind of speed up the healing process and so nothing was interfering with that, I removed pretty much all my body care products, especially deodorant. Kind of like easing my way back into deodorant, but honestly I don't feel like I need it. I don't perspire that much. A lot of what you smell like when you have stinky pits is not only factored by like what you have on your body, but what's in your body too. So body has to release uh, that some way or another, some of those toxins and things like that. So it's going to come out of your armpits. So uh, I have found a few trigger foods for me. I know if I eat them, I will smell for sure. So I try to avoid them if I know I'm going to be with people, but if I'm at home all day, then I really don't care. All of that to say, I picked up the Skin Foodie deodorant. This is the Sandalwood Pits deodorant, again, made with raw organic ingredients. It's really thick. Honestly, a product where you don't need a lot. I'll just put some on for you right now. I literally take like this much, I don't know, like a pea size amount, and then I just rub it around. It doesn't spread super easily at first. You kind of have to work it, and then it softens, and the rest of it I just kind of rub all over my hands because it's made with amazing ingredients. I have had a couple of her deodorants um, melt in my bag. Now I don't carry them with me. I actually will leave them in the fridge. That's enough about deodorant. I hope you're not bored. Okay, so I'm wearing one of them right now and it's the Well People, what is this called? Bio Extreme Lip Gloss. I got this one in Nude Rose. This is what the packaging looks like. And this lip gloss was $14.99. I really like the packaging of this. It's simple and sleek, and I think the color is really pretty. I would struggle to find like a nice nude that doesn't make my skin look washed out, but is not real pinky or like brown. So this is okay. I don't 100% love the color. It does pick up really pink sometimes, but I'm trying to branch out. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is what it looks like on my lips. Excuse my mustache. I'm sure I have one right now. Okay, what's that? A little more pinky than I would like, but I think it really works with my skin tone. It's probably just a color that I'm not used to, honestly. Last thing I got that I was really excited about that Whole Foods was out of for weeks is the Coco Kind Highlighter. And this one is the Mushroom Charged has three different ones. There's a really gold one, there's one that's very silver, and then this like rose gold pinky one. And I thought this one would actually be a great highlighter slash blush duo. It's made with maitake, jojoba oil, and mango butter. It's 100% vegan. I have used Coco Kind products before and I do really like them and I trust her ingredients. Maitake Rose. Let's go ahead and try it. I haven't even opened it yet because I've been a little nervous to even use it. Yeah. Oh, it says twist off, okay. So this is the color. It's definitely like a rose gold, which I like. Let's just, whoa. Do like a little bit of this, I don't really know. I have no idea if that's working or if you can see it. I don't have like a mirror or anything. <laughs> I'm just using my phone. It's kind of like tacky a little bit, but it goes on smooth after you kind of work it in. Do you see how like it picks up pink? And I, I don't like that. This is what it looks like swatched to my hand. It's just kind of a real gentle, rosy gold color. And I tried it on when I was in the store. I feel like it's gonna complement what I have, which isn't much, but it'll at least make me feel like I did something with myself. That's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, this was just a small mini Whole Foods haul and when I go there, I try to pick up like one staple item and then I always get something new. It helps me branch out a little bit so I can test out new products. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have some Whole Foods staples, let me know in the comments below. That way I can try them out. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.